today, just a little bit from now, I got a call and I'm a little bit nervous about it. See, in the last 13 years, as I've been self-employed, I've only applied for a full-time job once and it didn't go as planned. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. So this was a number of years ago, and at that point I've already been working on my own for a few years. But working on your own means you have to do everything yourself. Marketing, finding new clients, the work, everything. And when you have to do that multiple times, several times a year, it kind of builds up. Now it's exciting, it's fun, there's a lot of opportunities, you learn a lot. But also right at that moment, I drove to San Diego. I like to drive and I went there to visit a friend and I was just blown away by the city. I love the city, perfect weather all year round. Everybody's fit, everybody's hiking, gorgeous scenery. So I thought, hey, I can move out to San Diego, get a job and uh, take it easy for a while. Take it easy for a while. Nice. So when I came back home to Washington DC, I started looking for jobs and I found this one. I don't even remember where I got it, but as soon as I found this one job, I stopped looking. I, that was it. I stopped looking. That phone call I'm going to have in a little bit, uh, that's actually somebody from that company. Yeah, many years later. So I'm going to need some coffee. <laughs> It was a perfect fit. Their skill set listed all the experience that I had. It was .NET, front end, back end, JavaScript with a knockout framework, knockout library, it's not a framework. Yeah, this was before React, Vue, or even Angular. I knew that stuff really well, but one of the interview requirements that they had was I needed to submit a project. <laughs> Now I know that different uh, jobs have different requirements for the interview process and that you need to vet, you know, your candidates and I totally understand that. But this is something that I've never done before and I don't think I'm gonna ever do it again. So I decided to take on this challenge and build this app. But I didn't want to make a simple little demo app. It's going to be a full featured app. I already had it all figured out at that point. It was going to be an issue tracking system. And I would present it to them. And once they see it, they just wouldn't be able to resist hiring me. Wouldn't be able to resist hiring me. <laughs> Good plan, right? <laughs> This is Henry. He's showing me around town. Hi. I worked on that project for two weeks. I worked about eight hours a day on it, nonstop. It was a pretty involved project with all the layers. There was a business layer, there was a front end, written in knockout, pretty extensive stuff. But I did not get the job. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm hoping to find out why. It's supposed to be a new decoration for my office. A base, a magic light bulb. I got a few minutes and I gotta have that phone call. Whoa. <laughs> it's a levitating light bulb. That is freaking cool. <laughs> I think that'll make a good decoration. My kids are gonna love this thing. <laughs> I already have a few ideas of why I might have not gotten the job. I mean, there could be a lot of reasons, but I, I think I might know why. A few years have passed and I was pretty, pretty self-confident and I'd say cocky back then. 
cocky back then. Self-confidence is a good thing, but I may have taken it a little bit too far. All right, let's see. Oh, it's time for the call. So I gotta be honest, uh, I kind of have an ulterior motive for getting in touch with you today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know if you remember this, but I interviewed with you and I think a guy named at Yes, that's right. Yeah. I thought yeah. you did look familiar, actually. Uh, was okay. it like um, a couple years ago, though, right? This was a while ago, yeah. And I was wondering if you think anything stood out about that process. You know what? It's funny you say that because you were kind of one of the standout interviews that just didn't really fit, but left an impression because you had built like a, 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 a .NET app, like a fully built out one, and nobody's ever done that before. And, and this is for like a junior web development role. So that was very unusual. Yeah, yeah. I It was called Issue Canoe. I don't know if you remember that. I made the logo and everything for it. And I was, yes. Okay. Yeah. I was pretty proud of that, uh, that app that I built. It was like a full thing. It took me two weeks to build. And uh, yeah, I was surprised when I got the decision from you guys. And I was wondering if, why didn't you hire me? <laughs> I mean, it was no diss on your skills because from what I remember, it was a really solid app. It's just that you were like completely overqualified for what we were looking for. Um, like we reviewed the project and, you know, a complete full staff application is very unusual. I mean, especially for what we were, you know, hiring for, which was, uh, you know, a, a junior position. And we even had like a little discussion internally, like we were a bit skeptical that maybe you just had copied an existing project, uh -huh. uh, which we've had people do before, like try to cheat their way in. Yeah. Um, I got a sense, I got a sense that you did because you, you clearly asked me that during the interview, like, did you make this whole app from scratch? And I, of course I said, yes, because I did. <laughs> and we, and we trusted you on that. Honestly, we didn't think you were a liar or anything. It's just, you know, it's, part of the process of, of weeding through candidates is, you know, making sure people are submitting their work and not, you know, uh, misrepresenting themselves. Um, uh, I mean, the thing is, though, by admitting you had created it and submitting it, you just essentially took yourself out of the running, though, because that was not what we needed in that position. Because mm. uh, like I said, we were doing a junior role. Yeah, I thought so. Senior, you know, not a senior development role. Yeah. Anything else that stood out in the interview process? Well, I mean, a big deal for us is, you know, because we're a small team, but we all have to work as a team. We just kind of felt like you gave off a little bit of like a lone wolf vibe. Mm. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, <laughs> you just se didn't seem like you were too used to working with other people. I mean, you built this entire application yourself. Like that's impressive, but not really what we need, which is a team player, especially somebody who's, you know, in a junior role has to be able to take instructions really well. And by submitting something completely over what we were expecting, kind of show that you weren't really good at following instructions. I mean, I don't mean to insult you in that regard, but no. it's it's a big deal. I mean, for us to be able to have hire somebody who's going to actually follow the instructions that are given. Very, very good point. Yeah, I totally missed that at that time. And I have been working for many years uh, as a lone wolf, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, and if we ever needed a, uh, you know, a, a contractor to hire, you'd be one of our first calls. In fact, I think we had your resume on file, you know, just in case a project came up that we thought you'd be good for. It's just our business didn't unfortunately have anything, you know, during that time period. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thanks for taking my call. <laughs> well, my pleasure. Um, well, that didn't go that badly. I guess there's a couple more things I want to add. I wanted to move from Washington DC to San Diego. And San Diego is a great city, beautiful. But if I was somebody that was looking for a job, a software engineering job, moving from a place of high opportunity to a place of lower opportunity is the wrong move. Yeah, so I was kind of tempted by shiny things. But what I didn't realize is I'm already in a good place. Washington DC is a great place to find a job if that's what you're looking for. And another thing I want to add is if you are going to do a project as part of your hiring process, don't overdo it. Get what you need done. Ask them for clarifications if needed. Sometimes they don't want to clarify because, well, they want to see what you can do. But don't don't kill yourself. That goes back to one of the points I made earlier. Um, apply to more than one place. And if you like this video, I do appreciate you hitting that like button. The YouTube algorithm will reward me for that and I will thank you for it. So thank you. Also, consider subscribing. I'm surprised at how many people are not actually subscribed to watch my videos. I took a look at my analytics. Wow. You like my videos? Subscribe. You'll see more of them. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.